Oh. M. Mom! Hello, everyone, and welcome to Sissy That Talk Show, a show where I, Joseph Shepard, sit down to interview the only people in the world that matter, drag queens. Now, you might think you know these queens, but do you know their coffee order? Do you know their pet peeves? Do you know their favorite season? It's fall. There's so much to learn. Now let's sissy that talk. Show. It's time to bring out this week's guest. She's an actor, model, choreographer, artist, and my former co-host. Put your lighters up because let's welcome Laganja Estranja. Thank you for having me. Of course. And you know, since you're here and we're back together, it's a little bit of a reunion. It is, it is. It is, it is. You know what I think? What do you think? It's time for a queso party! No way! For real? Oh my god, this show is the best. Right? Is it warm? It is warm. Yes, it's warm. Well, I didn't know. Let's let you know. Because the wine I had earlier was real questionable. Cheers! Baby, Mm. I love a queso party. Right? Now, who made this queso? You know, I'm Mm. a queso snob. I know you are. Okay. Smells better than ballpark. Let's see. Okay. 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 Not bad, right? Not bad. Not bad. I mean, it's not like on the border. It's not like a mo. It's you not know, like that. I really, I'm a part of the queso club. That's what I heard. For on the border. I love it. I swear by it. But the nearest on the border to us here is like almost two hours away. Are you kidding? I've been. More than once. Have you driven? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. So do you plan this out? Sometimes we just go. Sometimes I, we get high and we're like, it's queso time. I'm, se- I'm seriously going to sit here and eat this. I think you should. I mean, that's why we got it. That's what we did. I love it. You've been traveling a lot all over the world. Yes. And I heard that there was a little issue with an Airbnb. It was rough, Joseph. What was rough about it? Like, not like rough trade, because I like that. Mm-hmm. This was like rough, like, sloughing it. Like, I really felt What's like... sloughing? I don't know. It just kind of came out. Okay. I think it, <laughs> is that a real word? Sloughing? I think you're thinking of slumming. 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 Okay. I was also thinking of snuffing, so I think it was a combination a maybe of the words. I, a, I wish I'd been snuffed yes. in, instead of having to stay in this Airbnb. <laughs> it was so ratchet, like the carpet. Well, similar to the one here, it had several stains on it. You know, it was just really stained. And then the shower, when I was uh, staying with another performer, Boy Sim, fabulous, check out his music. He went to go take a shower. Uh-huh. The knob of the shower literally came off. Stop it. So we couldn't even use the shower. And at the bottom of the drain, it was all rusted. Tin roof. It was just too much. (laughs) It was just too much. It was not the fantasy. If you want to see it, it's on my vlog, Day in the Life of, every Thursday You called out an Airbnb on your blog? Oh, not only did I call out the Airbnb, I called out the promoter who put me in the Airbnb. Because it wasn't really the Airbnb's fault. Yeah. Actually, it probably was. I bet they had better pictures than what was actually probably. there. You know, advertising, things in the, the mirror. What if the promoter looked for the dirtiest place to put you in? She probably did. She was ratchet, and I did not appreciate that. Then she tried me on the money. Mm-hmm. Girl, it was too much. But you know what? It made me humble, mm-hmm. and it made me grateful for the beautiful Airbnb I got myself the next time around. Yes. Yeah. Do yeah, you yeah. ever get scared about cameras in Airbnbs? No. No. Watch the doll, baby. Oh. Pay-per-view, sweetie. I put on a show wherever I go. There's always cameras in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I actually, we, we really did talk about that while we were at the Airbnb. You I guess, is this, a, yeah, is this a common thing? Like, people really are worried about this. I just watched a horror movie one time, and then they mm-hmm. had a, it was like, a, they rented an Airbnb, and there was cameras, like, in the shower. So then I was like, oh my gosh, I never even thought about that. Well, I'm very herbal essence when I'm in the shower, so. So herbal essence should actually get book the, the dolls. footage. This is all match, baby. The, yeah. All yeah. match. All Homegrown. <laughs> Just like my weed. <laughs> Speaking of weed. Yes. And we're eating queso. I'm high, yeah. I'm high, yeah. What type of munchie is like your go-to munchie? Honestly, chips and salsa. I love it. It's my favorite one. I love a good habanero salsa. Mm. I like a very spicy. Mm. Uh, a little tahine. You know, I can get into that fantasy. Also love Reese's. Love Reese's. What's Reese's? Reese's. Uh, okay, how do you say that? Reese's. 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 Yes, there we go. Perfect. Okay. Well, um, 
You have been choreographing a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. We had Trixie and Katya. Yes. Um, and then I know that you said something about what, Diabetti and? Well, no, I, I would love to choreograph, <laughs> no. <laughs> Who gave the facts to Joseph today? Y'all were high. Um, <laughs> Uh, Daya and I connected on Work the World, who I absolutely, I'm obsessed with her, and she's gonna come and support one of my pieces of choreography, okay. so maybe that's where the wires got mm -hmm. tangled up. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, Trixie and Katya Live was amazing. I worked with their director, Tim, who's become a really dear friend and supporter of me doing choreography, so that's been amazing. And hopefully, you know, the next tour they do, it won't even be a question. I'll just be present, yes, and available. You should. Um, but now I'm working on a new project called Misstep, which is a original musical that's hopefully going to go to Broadway in 2025. Ooh. But it's exciting because I grew up choreographing, and that's like my real, true passion. You know, I love drag. It's it's been a blessing for me. It opened all these doors, but. Truly, I'm, I'm most happy when I'm in my matching uh, color-coordinated sweats available at LaGondraStrangia.com. And I'm working with people getting them to, to move. You know, I, even working with like someone like Trixie and Katya who, you know, they're they, not, Do they move easily? You know, they do. And that's the thing. I think they might say like, oh, well, we're not dancers, but they really are. And that was really fun for me to get them to see like that they had all that potential there. Yeah. Yeah. I just can't imagine like actually having to choreograph with both of them, with you in the room. I feel like that would be chaos. I got high, yeah. I'm high, yeah. Did they get high? Um, I don't know, you know, those two, they just always seem high, but I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. I think they were really sober. They were focused. They were focused. They were very focused. I was throwing a lot of material at them. You were. But and they did amazing, the show, right? And they did great. You saw it? Yes. Yeah. Amazing. Knocked it out of the park. Now, Alexis Mateo once said, that profile picture is not you, honey, but these pictures are of you. It's time for Pics from the Past. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna show you some images mm -hmm. of yourself from the past, and I want your reaction to them. I wanna know where you were in this moment mm -hmm. in time. This sounds like a hateful game. I can't wait well, to play. Well, it may be a hateful game. It may not be a can't hateful game. Can't wait to play. Ooh, hateful game. Okay. Hateful game. Shay. What do we have here? Okay. We have Santi Alley. We have crusty, dusty wig. Mm -hmm. We have Spiderella eyelashes. But you know, I see beautiful potential here. I see someone who was determined to create content. You know, this is stuff I used to do back then and still do to this day. Photo shoots, things to just get my image out there, you know, being creative. Mm. And you are creative with the next look I'm about to show you. Oh God. Okay, yeah. What do we have here? We're looking a little bit like a Jeffree Star a little bit. This is giving another choices. Yes. Um, this was for a music video. And in the music video, girl, I went to do a trick and the wig came off. And they kept that in the video, which I was very not appreciative of. But now, of course, I laugh and don't give a hell. But yeah. back then I was like, I took myself very serious. And I was just like, I can't believe they would keep that in there, but it was funny. Is okay. this better? I mean, it's another it's another choice as far as the look goes. Obviously, this is RuPaul's Drag Race yes. season six. I feel very attacked. Yes. Iconic moment. Iconic. Look at that freaking butterfly from Michael's in my hair. Oh, it's from Michael's. Uh -huh. Wow. We love a craft store. Mm. The thing is, is that this moment was such a big deal. Mm -hmm. Did you freak out? after this moment happened? You know, I'm really delusional. Mm -hmm. So when I got off the show, I like thought it was amazing and like everyone was gonna love me. And while this moment happened and it was very like intense for me when it happened, I mean, it was my first and only panic attack I've ever had. And then I remember when the first trailer came out and I was like, oh right, like that happened and that might be a thing. But it became one of my biggest things. And you know, after a year later, I learned how to laugh at myself, mm -hmm. and instead of being the butt of the joke, I became the joke, and I made merch, and I made money off of it, and yeah, girl, so that definitely has taken me back, back, Ooh. back again. We're gonna take a quick break, and when we get back, it's time for, say it with me, Laganja, am I the out. drama? Oh. Hey fam, I don't just interview these dazzling queens and hope my skin looks amazing. I use Curology, so I know I'm gonna look my best. Now, I used to have acne and it would cause me so much anxiety and it seemed like every single skincare fad and expensive product that I tried, nothing seemed to work. Then my amazing boyfriend, yes, that's right, I'm sorry, 
He told me all about Curology. Curology is a simple custom formula as made for you by Curology's amazing team of skincare providers. Now, it's so easy to get started. You just go online, you snap a selfie of yourself, share your skincare goals, and Curology sends a personalized treatment right to your door. Speaking of the personalized treatment, this right here, this really pretty bottle, is my personalized treatment. I use this every single day, and that's what keeps my skin looking good. But that's not all I get in my Curology box every single month. Now, this moisturizer is thin, and it keeps me looking dazzling and sparkling. The cleanser, which I use in the shower every single day, and this cleanses and makes your face feel absolutely fresh. And look at these results. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You should see my body. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now I can interview these all-star queens with confidence thanks to our hashtag Curology partner. Start your Curology journey today at curalo.g slash sissy that talk. Subscription required, subject to consultation. We are back. Okay, Laganja, I have a question. And I have an answer. Are you ready to find out if you are the drama? I probably am, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, it's time to get to the bottom of something all the fans want to know. Now, when you were on my little show called Exposed, okay. we dove into the downfall of the House of Edwards. Remember, oh, there was a little bit of like, skin a, little, a little tear, there was a little moment. Finish. However, as you just said, you went back uh, to Texas and you were at Alyssa's studio. Yes. You and Shangela and Alyssa all at Dancing with the Stars and yes. you reconnected. So you guys have been kind of on again, off again. You also have your counterpart in Team Too Much, Miss Gia Gunn. Um, and you guys have had your ups and your downs. So I have to know, Laganja, are you the drama? Are you the real reason why the groups disbanded like Destiny's Child, NSYNC, the Spice Girls, Fifth Harmony, One Direction? Are you? Oh my God. I feel very attacked. Oh! Um, I think we all are. Yeah. I think it's a shared responsibility. So I'm not gonna sit here and say, no, I'm not the drama, but I'm also not gonna sit here and be like, yes, it was me. And also, you know, as I've learned, we didn't ever really fall apart. We were on extended timeouts. Mm. You were on a pause. We were on, you know, breaks, if you will. Mm. So I feel like um, it's just natural. That's how family is. Family fights, family fusses, family gets mad, and then they make up, and hopefully they're stronger and, and better, you know, which I think in, in both instances is true. So yeah, I'm, I definitely think I was a part of the drama for sure. I'm an emotional person. I wear my heart on my sleeve. I get my feelings, you know, caught up in, in the whole thing of it all. But I think at the end of the day, no, it's it's just a shared responsibility. It's humans being humans and learning how to be better people and how to work with one another. and. We all came full circle, so I think that's the most important part. What was the most dramatic thing to happen in House of Edwards? We were uh, late for our train, for undisclosed reasons, and um, Shangela decided to tell the ticket person that she was RuPaul, Hallelujah. and that we had to make this, you know, train in order for us to get to our gig. Like, this was very important. She was RuPaul, we had to go. And they made us put on a full show, right there, like the three of us do the full show so that we could get our tickets to get on the plane. So that was pretty pretty dramatic, but it was also really fun and it was such a great memory. And there are just, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. We're actually making a little small documentary right now. So the secrets will soon be revealed. Um, but yeah, again, I think the drama that we had was always a lot of fun drama. Yeah. You know, sure, there was definitely moments that were, um, you know, emotional, but when I look back, I don't know if it's because I smoke a lot of weed or, or not. I'm high, yeah, but I just remember the good. And I remember the fun, and I remember, you know, just crazy moments. Like, I also remember this one time we were at this club called Revenge, and Alyssa basically dared Shangela to swipe the table, which had all our craft services on it, and she did. <gasps> and then the dressing room floor was a mess, and so the promoter came in and like gave us a vacuum and was like, you guys can't leave until you clean this up. <laughs> So, uh, so Shangela was like rolling around on the floor and Alyssa started vacuuming and caught her hair in the vacuum. What? Yeah, and I remember being like, oh my God, we're never gonna get hired back here again. Cut to both of them got rehired and I never did. Shay. Revenge. Now I was not the drama there, okay? I was not the drama in that particular instance, but trust me, there was a time at Pride where, you know, it's family friendly event. 
Family friendly, did I say that right? I'm high, yeah. Family friendly. I got full boots, and Shangela had brought her pastor up to meet us all, and when she did, I decided to um, drop down to the splits and let her know that my pussy was better. And over and over, like, my pussy better, my pussy. To her yeah. pastor? Mm -hmm. What did the pastor do? Mm -hmm. Prayed for me. Yes. She said a long, deep prayer, I'm sure. On Holy water? Way, yeah, on her way home. So I was the drama there. So yeah. you know what I mean? I just think it goes hand in hand. We all were the drama, and that's what made it a good time. Well, everyone, I need to know, what's the verdict? Is Laganja the drama? Woo! Sound off in the comments below, and while you're at it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because we need to get some subscribers. Ha ha ha, wink. Sissy That Talk show is brought to you by Curology. Mm. On behalf of our gorgeous, iconic sponsor, who we love, we've scoured the internet for the dirtiest, grimiest, Ooh. most greasy and soiled things that are said about you. Ooh. <gasps> You're kidding! No! This show is dark! Yes! And now, thanks to Curology, Laganja Estranja, you have the chance to come clean. Okay. Just like you can come clean with Curology's <laughs> range of skincare products. I actually do love Curology, just gonna say I that. I do too. It's really great. It's really They're, great. They're um, little like patches you put. The little patches put, you put on your pimples. The best, and I love their um, lip balm. Yeah, the lip balm, because it goes up and down. That's my favorite part. That part is unique for me, but yes. I love the effect of the chopstick. Yeah. Yeah. Lights. Did you become Alyssa's drag daughter before or after she went on Drag Race? I think it was after. You did choreography for Trixie and Katya's tour. Is Trixie Mattel actually bow-legged? <laughs> um, no. Do you enjoy the taste of weed? Yes. Mm. How many crystals do you have in your yard? Oh, girl. Over 100. Do you travel with any condiments? Yes. What are they? Tahine. Um, tahine. Did you enjoy podcasting with your Queening Out co-host, Joseph Shepard? Well, okay. And I, oh. Were you a bully in high school? Mm, not in high school, but previously in middle school, for sure. Yeah, I was. Oh. If you could be an animal for a day, what animal would you choose? A bird. Any type of bird? A blue jay. Have you ever trashed a hotel room? No. Is Alyssa Edwards a robot? <laughs> no. What do you want to be remembered for? Kindness and being cunt. Ah! What is the biggest lie you've ever told? Oh God. That I was a gay man? Okay. And what is something no one knows about you? I hate this question. Okay, cool. Well, look guys, we're so glad you had the chance to come clean, brought to you by <laughs> Curology. Now it all makes sense. You're absolutely glowing. Oh, thanks, mm. doll. All thanks to Curology. <laughs> Laganja, I have a question for you. I have another answer for you. Are you ready to get raw? Oh my God, we're getting clean, we're getting dramatic, now we're getting raw. raw. Mm. Wow, okay. Oh yeah, I'm ready. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> you get the privilege of spinning this totally random, totally unrigged, random ass wheel, and then you've gotta do whatever it lands on. So you never know, you may have to smoke out of an apple. Okay. Ooh. You may have to um, do a death drop from the ceiling. Oh, no, y'all aren't getting that. You may have to FaceTime RuPaul. Y'all aren't getting that either, so. <laughs> so spin the wheel. Okay, a nice hard raw yes. spin. I can't believe it, it's catch these phrases. Now, how about you head on over to the green screen. <gasps> yes, I'm gonna chasse away. Laganja, you're the queen of catchphrases. Duh. And I want to challenge you to show the children how it's done by making catchphrases for only green things. Challenge accepted. Because we all know if it's not green, what? I'm not interested. Oh, crrr. Let's get sixening. Ouch, was that a dick or was it just a cactus? 
turtle? More like she did a huge hurdle. Ribbit, ribbit, froggy wog. Two peas in one pod. Is love blind or are you just drunk? Oh, the look of the Irish. Me eats my greens at dinner. That was for billboard table. It's not a catchphrase, it's a catch movement. Get into it. It's Dahlia Sin. Kiwi. <laughs> Thank God I could afford the extra avocado, cause I'm rich, honey. I'm the bird they want me to be, mama. Capsicum? That's a fucking bell pepper. What the fuck is a capsicum? Green means go, ho! <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. Thank God I got a little drunk. Apple sapple sauce! <laughs> I can't even take myself seriously. <laughs> Oh, grass! Gooseberry? More like, who's berry better get up in here and suck this bitch? Stop in the name of ganja. There's nothing like doing it raw. You did a good job there. A lot of catchphrases and gifts that are gonna be made. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching Sissy That Talk show with me, Joseph Shepard. A huge thank you to my guest today, Miss Laganja Estranja. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye guys. <gasps> Wait, there's more. If you are as sad as we are that this is over, make sure to listen to the Sissy That Talk show podcast. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. Sissy That Talk Show with Joseph Shepard drops every Tuesday on YouTube. And don't miss the After Show podcast when it drops on Fridays on YouTube and on your podcast apps. Double that sissy fun.